Hi there, my name is Gail Mills and I'm a physical therapist at Powell Valley Healthcare. And I want to talk to you today about something that nobody really likes to talk about and that is urinary incontinence and just the subject of pelvic floor dysfunction in general. I know you're all familiar with what urinary incontinence is, but the pelvic floor dysfunction, um, pelvic floor, the pelvic floor muscles span um, our lower abdominal cavity that helps support our pelvic floor organs. They help with sexual function and uh, maintain continence. And when those muscles become weak or um, fatigued or spastic, then we have pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, so what are those symptoms of that kind of disorder? Um, urinary incontinence, of course, is leakage of urine, and sometimes we don't consider that to be incontinence. If we leak just a little bit, like if we, if we laugh or cough or sneeze or maybe bend over and pick up the baby, but that's stress incontinence. Or if we get home and we're, we've been fine and then all of a sudden we grab the doorknob and it's like, I gotta go right now, uh, that's urge incontinence. And frequency would be getting up three to four times at night when getting up once or no, none at all is what's normal. So that's what I'd like to talk about today. So this is a very common problem in the United States. Uh, it's not exclusively a women's problem, but predominantly um, many women have this problem. And it's not just an older woman's problem either. So what puts you at risk for this kind of a problem? If you've had a child, if you've had more than one child, that risk increases with every childbirth. Um, if you've had an abdominal surgery, hysterectomy, um, if you're on hormone replacement therapy, um, all of those increase that risk for incontinence in some form. Um, so what can physical therapy do for that? Uh, we manage, we work with muscles and so our pelvic floor muscles are no different. Um, it's just something that women don't like to talk about with their primary care physician a lot of times. Um, it's embarrassing or they think that it's normal. That's the very common thing that it just happens and that's not the truth. So I just really want to dispel that myth today. It doesn't have to be that way. So coming into physical therapy, uh, we would look at those muscles, check the strength. Um, I actually have an exercise program. Um, we do a lot of education about the anatomy as well as things that might irritate your bladder that might be causing this uh, increased um, frequency. Um, different foods or things that you're drinking possibly. Um, so, and it's a very successful treatment. We have about 80% success. It's non-invasive. Um, and often people think too, we just need medicine or we need surgery. And so this is a, a great non-invasive alternative. And I'd really like it to see a first, ha like to see it be a first line of defense um, that women would come in early if they're having problems. You know, the earlier, the easier it is to fix. Um, so just want you to know that's available at um, physical therapy here in Powell. Um, I have, there's myself and Candace Linton is another female physical therapist. We have a, a room, if you've been in our cl clinic ever, you know it's a busy place, but we have a room where we can shut the door and have privacy. So um, give us a call. Um, our number is 754-1235. Talk to your primary care provider and um, don't wait, don't put this off. I'd also like you to know that I'm going to be at uh, Club Dauntless next week, um, Tuesday, November 17th at 5.30 and Thursday, November 19th at 9.30 to um, just put on a little informative class. There'll be lots of time for question and answers. So that is open to the public, not just Dauntless members. So if you'd like to stop by and visit a little bit then, come on over.